Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do a, another anti haul today. Um, I have been doing so much shopping lately that I just, I need to stop. So, um, this anti haul has a few things that I want to talk about. Um, and I have some reservations on these products. Just my own opinions why I think that they're not worth it for me personally. Um, if you guys already have these products, by all means, good for you. I hope you enjoy them. But for me, these products were just, they're not meant for me. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the KKW Beauty Powder Contour and Highlight. Um, this is a palette and I'm going to insert a picture right now. So, um, this palette is two contours and two highlights, and I just think that Kim Kardashian, you're coming out with stuff that's already out. Like, you know, Kat Von D Beauty has a contour kit, Anastasia has a contour kit, Natasha Denona has a contour kit, and hers is pretty damn expensive. Um, too Faced, Tarte, they all have contour kits that are powder in a palette. So, I mean, come on, Kim, what are we doing? What are we doing? Now, I don't exactly know what the price is for this, but I can guarantee you it will probably be in a $50 or more range just because her contour cream kits are $58 US. So in Canadian, that's a hell of a lot more. So. I mean, it comes with a mirror, it's nude packaging, all that jazz. There's um, light, medium, deep, uh, dark, deep, dark, which is weird. Um, so there's only three, like, levels of, of shades. I just think that, like, Kim can do so much more, you know, with her accessibility to um, YouTubers, influencers, uh, brands especially, I think she can do more. So I just find that the stuff that she's coming out with recently is kind of mediocre and I'm waiting for her to come out with something spectacular. So I love the Kardashians, but Kim, come on, I know that you've got it in you to do something spectacular. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm waiting very patiently for your beauty brand to come out with something spectacular. So far, the cream contour kits, which I posted in my last anti haul, I was not a fan of. Um, I did not purchase them, and they're, the reasons why are in that video. But for this powder kit, is the same, you know, reasoning or similar reasoning is that you know it's been done. There's so many other brands out there with better quality, and so far her quality is not the greatest from her previous products. So she needs to step it up more. Um, so with that said, I'm moving on to my next my next anti-haul product. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Glitter Palette. I'm going to insert it right here. You're probably looking at this and saying, damn, that looks like the Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette, the, like the regular one, and it does look like it. It's identical to it, except for this one is the shimmer, like the glimmer one, so it's got like everything is all glitter and shimmery in the palette. There's no mattes. So um, this one retails for $64, and no. I don't need a full palette of all shimmer. I just don't. First of all, a lot of people wear Kat Von D Beauty makeup, okay? From all kinds of ranges, from very young teenagers, preteens to, you know, well in their 40s and 50s. So you have a wide range of people. What I think this is supposed to be is a complimentary palette to the Shade and Light original eye palette. So you have all your mattes and you have all your shimmers and you can mix and match the both. The problem is, is that not everyone has the Shade and Light eye contour original palette. So it's like you're having to spend twice because you have to go back and, and purchase both both palettes, the, the, the matte one and the shimmer one if you want to do both. For me, I already own the matte one and I'm happy with the matte one. I don't need any more shimmers in my life. I have enough shimmer eyeshadow that will last me until my next lifetime, maybe two lifetimes over. So for me, this palette is useless to me. I can get neutral shimmer shades in all the other palettes that I own because let's face it, I'm a beauty junkie just like all of you on here and we all have shimmer shadows in other palettes that we can use and we don't have to spend $64 Canadian on a all shimmer palette. That's just it. 
So I'm not buying that and I won't, I won't buy it. Um, the next product I am going to talk about is, let me see if I can find it. The Too Faced Glitter Balm Eyeshadow Collection Palette. I'm going to insert a picture right here. Okay, so this palette is $54 Canadian, and again, it's another glittery palette. Nothing matte, all glitter. And this is my same reasoning. I don't care how many shadows, what kind of colors, different range colors, I don't give a shit. I am not going to use an all glitter palette by itself. I'm not. And when I'm going traveling, I don't want to carry multiple palettes with me. I'm not. So, I mean, whether this was geared towards makeup artists, sorry you guys, I have something in my eye. Whether this was geared towards makeup artists, I don't know, but if it was to the regular everyday consumer, this glitter palette, when I look at it, I think of like nine, 10 year olds wanting, wanting this palette more than, um, a 25 year old or a 19 year old or a 35 year old, or even a 50 year old, because as you mature, you don't want to accentuate your fine lines around your eyes. And this glitter palette will give you all kinds of fallout, all kinds of accentuations of fine lines as you get, you know, more mature. It's just not realistic for the everyday woman. It's not. So I'm not going to buy it. I don't plan on buying it. And even if I were to get it as a gift, I would give it away because I just don't, I have no interest in it at all. None whatsoever. And I have to be really interested in something glittery for me to really actually pay attention to it. And to be totally honest, I don't use like really, really bright colors on the lids. Like if I'm going to go with something glittery, I'm going to pull my Magnificent Metals by Stila in Kitten Karma or the bronze one. And I'm going to use that because, you know, that's what the pop I want. I'm not going to use like a hot pink glitter. Maybe I'm too boring, but I'm not going to like, unless it's for a very big, big event, I'm not going to need a whole palette to do a really, really nice look for a big event. So I'm not going to need a full glitter palette. That's the, that's the thing. Like I don't need a full glitter palette. I have my certain colors that I, I prefer on my skin tone. And those are the ones I stick to when I do really big events, whether it's rose gold, bronze, gold, silver, whatever the case is. Um, so no, I'm not going to be getting the Too Faced Glitter Balm eyeshadow palette. I think it's a load of crap personally. And I am not going to get buy into the whole hype because it's not worth it. So the next, um, product I want to talk to you guys about is the Carly Bible um, BH Cosmetics Extended Version Palette. They're like, so Carly Bible came out with a palette a couple years ago with BH Cosmetics. I do own that original palette and it's beautiful. It's nice. I like it. There's, you know, mauvey, bronzy tones in there. You've got your highlights, you've got your shadows, you've got a mixture of some mattes and some shimmers. So it's great. This one is kind of like a amped up version to that one. So it's got the same colors in the palette with a few extended eyeshadows added to it. So I'm in, I, I don't know if I said I was going to insert a picture. I will right now if I haven't. And like when I look at this, it looks like a, a beautiful palette. But the problem is you guys, the problem that I have with this, the problem, oh, Jesus. Why won't this work? There we go. The problem that I have with this palette is that it's all the same shadows. The majority of them are the same from the original palette that I already own. Why am I going to go buy the palette again when I have most of these colors anyways? There's just some differences. Like there's a bit of rose gold added into it. You know, I do have rose gold shadows. I have rose gold highlighters. I can use those as shadows. I'm not going to go and buy an entire palette just for those two rose gold add-ons just because, you know, she re-released it into a bigger size. Personally, for me, I'm very disappointed in Carly Bible with this release. I thought that she has more creativity and to come out with something totally spanking brand new instead of taking her existing release and just adding on to it. Like, I don't, I don't ever, ever, ever believe anybody has added on to their existing release. And if they have, it's, um, they've, they've, not, they've broken it down so that it's more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's more consumer friendly. For example, like when Jaclyn Hill released her Champagne Pop. Then about a year or two down the road, she re-released Champagne Pop with a new highlight Prosecco Pop and some blushes. So you could get half pan of Champagne Pop and half pan of a blush. That is more um, consumer friendly because you're kind of getting two in one. And if you're traveling, it's more travel friendly as well. But this one is just like 
you know, I'm getting the existing shadows that I already have in the original palette, and I'm getting, you know, a couple extra different ones. So if you already own this, the original palette, this is a waste of money for you. If you don't own the palette, the original release palette, then I would say maybe this is great for your, if you want to try BH Cosmetics. It's a more affordable brand. But if you already own Carly Bible's first one, personally for me, I find that this palette is useless to you. You already own the first one. You're not going to get any use out of it. Now, I, I know there's people out there that do own this palette. And like I said before, you know, good for you. I hope you enjoy it. But because I already own her original release uh, of this palette, I'm not going to buy this one. I'm just not. It ain't going to happen. Okay, so um, I am going to now talk to you about a collection that released and sold out, but will be restocked in September. Um, what the collection I'm talking about is the Desi Perkins and Katie by Lester Lux, um, their Dose of Colors release. So if you guys haven't seen their collection, which you're living under a rock if you haven't because it's all over social media, I will insert pictures right now. Okay, so in this collection, they come out with a quad, a, a eyeshadow quad, okay? They come out with two highlighters, okay? Um, and they come out with uh, two liquid lipsticks and two nude lipsticks. So it's a pretty decent sized collection, okay? Now, the, uh, the nude lipsticks are pretty. Um, there's one called More Creamer Please and No Shade. They benefit more. Oh, and there's a gloss too. Sorry, my mistake. They benefit. So the the um, the lipstick nude lipsticks are benefiting more to Desi and and Katie's undertone. So if you're really not the same undertones as them, this lipstick may or may not work for you. It's kind of like a a toss up. Okay, so either you're one undertone or you're the other and maybe one out of the two might work for you or none might work for you at all, depending on your skin tone, your undertone, your individual, you know, makeup in that sense. So they also released two liquid lipsticks. One was Hot Fire, a bright red, and the other one was Savage, which is a deep, 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 dark purple, almost looking black. Um, and then their lip gloss is called, I uh, can't find it. I don't know, but there's like a goldy lip gloss in here somewhere. Um, then, oh, over the top. That's what the lip gloss is called, over the top. So then they have um, two highlighters, Fuego and Metami. Metami? Metami? I don't know, Metami. I think it's Metami. Metami? I can't. Usually I'm pretty good with accents, especially in Spanish, but because I'm I'm Italian, so like it's easy to kind of mimic the, the Spanish language. Um, but anyways, Metami. Maybe it's Metami. I, I'm... I'm not even going to keep trying. So anyways, those two highlighters are beautiful, but they're the same undertones as all the other highlighters I have. So it's like, hmm, okay. The eyeshadows are very distinctively all shimmer, and they're different colors, but you need to use them wet. Most of them, you need to use them wet. So, you know, there's obviously no... Um, there's no like transitional shades in the, in that little four, four sun palette, and their reasoning was because you know everybody has their own preference to their transitional shades in their crease depending on their skin tone, so they wanted to provide only shimmer shadows, and that's great, good for them. That is something that's a milestone. That is really a big milestone for them to come out with a collection with Joseph Colors. I love Joseph Colors. Joseph Colors is a great brand. I personally enjoy them. I've had a couple of their lipsticks and their liquid lipsticks, so I mean it's not something that I'm not um, unfamiliar with. What I, I have a problem with this collection because this collection is more designed for them two people together. So it's more benefiting them to the functionality of it because they're the ones that use it the way they use it all the time. But as a consumer, like as a consumer on, on this end, being a regular person, a regular beauty lover, a, re a regular makeup enthusiast um, who goes to work every day, who, um, you know, lives life, has family events, they can't really wear these eyeshadows on a daily basis. They just can't. The Hot Fire Liquid Lipstick is beautiful. That's something you can definitely use on uh, like a very simple day. So you could do a pop of color. Beautiful colors and lipsticks, but it's like, I can dupe these very easily in the freaking ass huge collection that I have. Give me something more. I want something different. 
and it doesn't feel like this is any different to any other collection that I've actually seen out there. Is it just me? I don't know. Like their gloss has got like gold glitter particles in it. And um, like I have something like that from Kylie Cosmetics. Like what, what do I say? What do I say? I say I already have it. I'm not going to go and buy it because I already have one. Actually, I think I have two from Kylie Cosmetics. They're different. They're different names. Uh, so they're different like undertones in glitter, but they're very similar. And I don't need another one. Those two, um, those two particular uh, lipsticks, the nude lipsticks, I can dupe that with the Joseph Colors satin lipsticks or any other MAC lipstick and Kylie Cosmetic lipstick and Anastasia lipstick. I can dupe those in the collection I already have. It's, it is dupable. They said that they created those nude lipsticks because they couldn't find their perfect nude and I find that that's really hard to believe only because I've, there have been maybe once or twice where I've been able to find my perfect nude color that I really do enjoy from other brands. So I really do feel that it is doable and that is just their way of marketing. Okay? That is just their way of marketing. You guys are consumers. See through, see through all of the bullshit. See through all of the bullshit. Don't get me wrong. I love Desi and Katie. I follow them on social media. I follow them on YouTube. I love watching them. They are, they are so fun to watch and they do give great makeup feedback they do amazing tutorials they you know provide good reviews but this collection could have been way better way better those two highlights in the in those pans i can definitely dupe with all of the damn highlighters i have and the four eyeshadows are not for everyday use i can't use that every day i am not a you like i'm not a big youtuber where i go to like all these events on a weekly basis as a regular person a regular consumer who goes to events every now and then for weddings or family occasions or whatever this collection doesn't feel like it's uh realistic or what's the word i'm looking for not realistic it doesn't feel like it's it, it doesn't make sense for my lifestyle does that make any sense to you guys? It doesn't make sense for my lifestyle. So that's where I'm going to, what I'm going to say. I think that this is a great, um, you know, that's a great stepping stone for a big YouTuber to collaborate and good for them. But because I have these strong feelings towards the collection and how it was designed, and it was pretty much designed to benefit them in the sense where they'll get more use out of it than a lot of people out there who have regular lives. This is more of a collection that is more glamorous that is, you know, people might use every day for, you know, getting glammed up if you're on a TV show or you do entertainment or, you know, you work at a bar or, you know, you have to look all like glitzy and all, you know, all that. That's what I see this collection as. I don't see it, this collection as for any, any one of their subs, like regular subscribers who live in a small town and, you know, just love makeup and love using it every day. This is more of like a... A glitzier collection that definitely wouldn't be a for everyone and you know they sold out they sold out their collection on their first launch and good for them I think that it was smart for Anna from Joseph Colors to combine the two of them together because with with the two of them combined that's over that's over what four million subscribers between the two of them on YouTube and then also on um, on Instagram that they've you know that they've accumulated all this exposure to so very smart business women. I will not, um, I will not like, you know, I, I look up to smart business women like that, but I like to think more of a practical consumer. And th that's the word I'm looking for. I don't think this collection is for a practical consumer who, you know, would use the products every day, every day. So that's why I, I will not buy the collection. Um, the shadows look pretty. You have to use them wet. I, I just don't think I would wear those colors on an everyday basis and I want something I can use every day and get my good use out of. So I mean congratulations to Desi and, and Katie for their beautiful collection as pretty as it is I just don't think it's practical enough for me and I won't be buying it. So that is going to be the end of my auntie haul for today. Um, if you guys have any questions leave them down below. Um, did you guys buy any of these products? Did you like them? Let me know. I would love to know. Um, are you planning to not buy any of these products as well? I also want to know that. So please leave your comments down below. Um, just so you are aware, I have closed my Wet n Wild giveaway. And that giveaway has been uh, closed off. I do have a winner and I am con I have contacted them to provide their information. 
once I send out their um, prize, I will let you guys know who the winner was. And, and then that's it. I like to wait until I've sent out the prize to that person because I don't want anybody spamming them or trying to, um, you know, I've heard all kinds of malicious stories about people winning a giveaway and then other people are hacking into their accounts just so that they can get the prize. So uh, I know that my subscribers are not like that and you guys are great, but you know, for those trolls that kind of, you know, wander around here and there, you just never know. So um, I will let you all know who the winner is once I send out the prize and and then um, I think that is it. I think that is it. I'm actually enjoying doing these small giveaways. I do have some big giveaways coming up, you guys, and they will be closer to the holiday season. Um, but stay tuned. I do have a couple more giveaways that are, you know, me small, medium sized. I like to give back um, and uh, we'll go from there. So anyways, thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys enjoy this anti haul. I think this was anti haul number five. Um, and uh, we'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone. Mwah.